কষ্ট ছিল মানে বাচ্চা গোচ খেতে পেত না পড়াতে পারতাম না পড়াতে মানে জামা কর পড়াতে পারতাম না এই সব নানা সতর নিয়ে খুব এতে ছিলাম ছোটটা তখন পেটে ছিল যখন চলে গেছে সেই অবস্থা খুব খারাপ ছিল ছোট ছেলের জন্ডিস হয়েছিল এই ওষুধও দিতে পারিনি কাঁচা জল খাইয়েছি ছোট ছেলেকে অনেক কষ্ট ছেলেকে বাঁচিয়ে এনেছি আমারও খুব অবস্থা খারাপ ছিল হতে গিয়ে তারপরে তো ওই বাচ্চাকে নিয়ে কাজ করতে পারিনি তার সুই রেখে দেড় দেড়শো টাকা দিত মাস গেলে আমরা খুব দুজনেই এরম অন্ধ তো আমরা খুব ইয়ে কষ্ট করে মানুষ করেছি কেউ আমাদের দেখেনি যেমন প্রথম হচ্ছিল আমরা এখানে এসেছিলাম আমাদের বলেছিল সবাই বলেছে তোমরা এরকম খেতে পাও নি এখানে দিয়ে দাও না আমার ঘর বাড়ি নেই ভাইদের কাছে থাকি এমনকি ভাইদের সাথে অশান্তি দুবেলা হয় বলে তুমি এখান থেকে নেমে যাও আমি কোথায় যাব আমার ছেলে মেয়ে অনেক ছোট ছিল তখন দিয়ে দিয়েছি আমি খুব অসহায় আমি খুব অসুস্থ আমার মাথায় টিউমার হয়েছে সেই নিয়ে আমি চলছি আজ আছি কাল নেই পিতা দি থা নিশা সা করতা থা লড়কি কে খোঁজতা থা নেই উসকো হম মানুষ কিয়া তো নিশা করতে করতে এই দুর্গা পূজা মে ডেট হোগি হম তো বুঢ়ি হো গিয়া কব মরেগা কব জিয়েগা হমকো টিভি রোগ হো গিয়া হুয়া কব মরেগা কব বাঁচেগা কোই ঠিক নেই হে Within these dark lanes of Kolkata a man searching for the truth of life listening to his inner voice a man thinking beyond himself wanting to help deprived human beings rejected by the society having a vision for providing them a grand big family binay da amar khub upokar koreche ami van chalatam bhara van chalatam bole binay da bhani kenar jonno amake taka diyeche ekhono এখনো আমার ছেলে মেয়েকে আমি খুব গর্ব করি যে এখানে যে পরিবেশে আছে আমি পারতাম না মানে দোয়ার পরে এখন খুব ভালো আছে ছেলেও ভালো আছে তো সে থাকাতে আমি নিশ্চিন্তে অনেক ভালো আছি আমার তো খুব খুশি আছে যে মেয়েটা লেখাপড়া শিখে খুব ভালোই আছে হ্যাঁ শান্তি আছে শান্তি থাকলেও চিরে জীবন নিয়ে যাব না এখানে রেখে আমি আমার ছেলে মাধ্যমিক দিল নাইনে পড়ে সেভেনে পড়ে খুবই ভালো আছে আমি চার সালকে আমি চোদ্দ সালকে হো গিয়া খুব খুশি আমি This man has been looking after hundreds of children from deprived families by giving them quality education and inculcating in them high moral values. One day I it struck me that I should start a shelter home for children children from very difficult backgrounds and uh, to whom I could dedicate my whole life I could bring, bring them up as my own younger brothers uh, and younger sisters so in that spirit as a guardian to them i can uh, live my whole life when i decided to start a shelter home i was first uh, looking for land where i could start and then do some construction in that land but even a small piece of land was costing so much that i mean it was just beyond any kind of uh in my initiation that i had so i decided to uh, start in a rented building i therefore saw a few buildings then finally uh, you know zeroed on a rented building which was near the iim campus and rent of which was around 12000 rupees so i started taking lectures for uh, mba aspirants in some coaching institutes in calcutta and through that I could meet this rent. The financial position of Parivar started improving as it gained popularity within his family, friends and colleagues. His mother, an ardent believer in the goodness of people, was the first donor of Parivar. Within a year, Vinayak had enough funds to buy 2 acres of land at 24 Parganas and to start Parivar. So in this way I started first three children I brought from a village the uh, around 20 kilometers from kolkata from extremely uh, deprived backgrounds and with that after 15 days another 10 children came so in this at the end of say two months i had around 30 children already i then began to write email appeals 
first to IIM Calcutta alumni because that was the domain I had access to. Though I had written to more than 1000 people, percentage wise a very small uh, percentage responded but still number wise it was around 20-25 people who responded which was very encouraging to me because I realized that when I am just starting this work even at this stage there are people who are showing confidence in me, showing trust in me. So all our children till grade 10 study there and in grade 11, 12 and for graduation uh, in colleges they attend some outside institutions which uh, have the stream uh, they want to study. Every child at Parivar is able to aspire for a brighter future based on the quality education and life skills they receive at Parivar. The initial focus on children from urban and rural areas was expanded to include children of highly impoverished tribal areas where even two square meals were not available and malnutrition was rampant. At Parivar, we have residential children from around 14-15 different districts, uh, around 12 districts in West Bengal, 2 districts in Jharkhand and a few pockets in Bihar and Chhattisgarh also. Every year, Parivar screens more than 1,500 cases of needy children for admission. These children are in the age group of 5 to 10. Parivar has a detailed pre-admission screening process, which includes a site visit to determine that the child is extremely needy and vulnerable and in need of long-term residential support. One of the criteria in selecting the child is to determine that there is a minimal possibility of a dropout of the child from Parivar. We ensure that they are not looking for a short-term uh, stay at Parivar, just for say, a couple of years or so but for a long term transformation so if a child is admitted at the age of five uh, our aim is that till higher education which could be graduation and after that a job placement till that level the child will be at Parivar. Most NGO and government run shelters support the children till they attain the age of 18. The support is withdrawn after the child turns 18. Parivar has no such age limit. I think that uh, just like in a family, how a family supports a child to the last possible conclusion, it could be higher education, it could be job placement, depending on the potential of that child, giving all kinds of opportunities to make the most of that potential. So this was my uh, vision that just like a family, Parivar will also handhold the child till the last conclusive stage, which does full justice to his or her potential. Parivar is now West Bengal's largest free residential institution, a home to more than 1,000 less privileged children served by a team of deeply committed 170 plus full-time staff. Parivar has two campuses furnished with dorm-like housing, a school which has its own library, computer lab, dining halls, medical rooms, recreation halls, play fields, etc. Children who had no opportunity of going to school, whose nutrition, safety and well-being were also under question now start aspiring to be teachers, to be engineers, to be doctors and to enter many such other careers. A high happiness quotient maintained in the family is the reason for the negligible dropout rate at Parivar. The atmosphere around Parivar lends itself to self-esteem and creates hope amongst the resident children. 100% of the children of Parivar appearing for the board exam clear the exam with decent scores. The emotional and psychological uh, nurturing of each child, I think it, that is of a very high level. And that I believe is uh, the most important achievement of Parivar. Now second is that the aspiration level of the children completely changes because their esteem need here is uh, really fulfilled, the self-respect. Uh, 
and the respect from others that they get here from our sevavatis just like in a family how you are sensitively dealt with a full time staff member of parivar is fondly referred to as a sevavrati meaning the one who is devoted to an ideal service the sevavratis cater to all the needs of the boys as well as the girls the children from the early batches of parivar are now getting ready to plunge into the competitive professional world some are working as interns in industry and corporate offices while others are strengthening their resumes by gaining work experience parivar goes beyond providing good education it also guides the children in their choice of a career they are set on a path on which they would be able to create a niche for themselves while conforming to the values instilled during their stay at parivar every child has a potential that needs an opportunity for development if they are provided the right kind of opportunity and the right kind of nurturing they have a tremendous potential to do well parivar is expanding like a juggernaut in popularity and in resources it is now the largest free residential institution in the state of west bengal vinayak is actively working on expanding the current parivar facility from accommodating 1000 children to 3000 children for the last 3 4 years vinayak had spent a lot of time in building the entire tier of leadership and now we are very comfortable that's why that even if vinayak is not there for several weeks in parivar parivar runs absolutely smoothly because the next line of leadership are perfectly in place inspired by the teachings of selfless service by shri ramakrishna swami vivekanand Vinayak Lohani is helping transform the lives of hundreds of destitute children not only of West Bengal but also those from the surrounding states like Jharkhand Bihar and Chhattisgarh Parivar his vision is now a dream fulfilled this tireless journey of determination and dedication would provide a role model for many